Good afternoon, everybody. Yours truly, Nature Man here. Now, let me tell you guys how I got over here to this tree filled with offspring and cicada adults. Also known as metamorphosis. Let me throw that in there for those that kind of missed that word. So, I was walking from this direction, coming back from over here. Now, as I'm coming up this street that you see in front of me, I make my way over, and this is what I come across. Now, I know the first thing you guys are thinking is, okay, Nature Man, so what? There's a bunch of cicadas on the ground. Reason being is because usually when you see cicadas, as I made in my last video, you see them kind of in clusters or in groups when they throng together. But in particular, these right here that I'm showing you, you typically do not see in Maryland, just exactly how you see it here. Or you see them together, but they're not literally like this, like probably millimeters or inches apart. Let me go ahead and do this more in depth for you guys right now. So you have, okay, so you have all of these right here, right here up on the ground. And for those that don't know, this is basically one of the um, one of the shells. Now, the reason why I say one of is because there's a nice amount of examples here. So I'm going to pick one up for you guys. This right here is an exoskeleton. Sorry about that. So this right here is an exoskeleton. And this is one of the stages in which they go through in order to get to all the stages that I'm about to show you now. So sorry if it's not as clear as I'd want it to be, but uh, that's the shell. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop that, and I'm going to get to the next one. So the next thing that comes out is that they turn into this, right here. This is the next part that they turn into before they fully metamorphosize. Now, once they get to this stage, as time goes on, then they get to let's see if I can find a nice, nice example. Then they get to ah, here we go. This one right here. Now the other one was yellowish. This one is turning a bit brownish at the bottom, and then you have some yellow mixed with some some nice black color in there. Now this is when they are about to blossom, or as I should say, metamorphosize just to be technical and when that happens time goes further and they turn into this right here fully formed now this is what they fully turn into which is why I am using this tree in particular as a perfect example of the metamorphosis stages metamorphosis stages of the cicadas now, from what I've been learning from my previous video that I had made, these organisms in particular come around every 17 years. Now, I've been quite curious as to how, when they throng together, and what that means is when a group of animals or when a group of people get together in one area, or the other term is designated, but in this context, I'm using thronging. So, on this particular tree right here from... What I understand, it looks like either white pine or citrus. I don't know for sure, but from my observation, it's probably one of those two. But I'm going to look more in depth because I don't want nobody to quote me on that. But for anybody that knows, hey, as always, feel free to educate me because I love to learn. So feel free. Now, one thing I've been curious about with these type of insects is is why they produce up to a hundred decibels when they get in very large groups kind of like this one that I do not know also they come up from the ground now I do apologize because there's no holes around this tree but I'm gonna go ahead and do a slow walk around so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about by the way, these are all the exoskeletons, or I should say, molts, of the cicadas 
and also the fully adult phases of them coming out. Some of them have died metamorphosizing, some of them have damaged wings, some of them have fully formed, some of them are having trouble, some of them are not having trouble, but I'm definitely doing a good, nice close-up of this. And I'm making this video long on purpose to give you guys a more in-depth understanding of these organisms. Now, they don't bite, okay, and they're safe to handle. In some third world countries, they actually eat these type of insects. Uh, some in particular, I would say Cambodia is one of them. Um, for my recollection, I would say Vietnam. And probably a few others, but, you know, if you guys know any others, feel free to tell me, you know. Um, I don't know how they taste, so <laughs> I can't help you guys with that. But um, in particular, I thought this was a perfect, perfect example of the um, the cicadas and how they metamorphosize into what they are, fully grown up and stuff like that. Now, as far as like temperate or I would say... I don't know, rainforest, maybe. Um, I don't know if they could survive in a really, really humid climate, but I do know for sure temperate deciduous forests ranging from low 50s, mid 40s, till about the early 70s or up to, from what I've been experiencing being in a deciduous forest, um, the late 80s, probably early 90s. But, um... It being really, really cold, dropping down to like early 30s, early 20s to late 40s, I would say, for the cold season in a temperate deciduous forest um, where these organisms also thrive. Um, now, as far as food wise, they, let's see, I do not know from the research that I've done, didn't really say what they eat. That's still a mystery um, to me, that is. And they also come in green. Uh, they come in this color as well, with uh, red eyes. And yeah, I mean this 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 is an interesting species, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These guys are everywhere. Not exaggerating. Like they are literally everywhere. Up and down the tree, all around the ground. They're everywhere. Well, as usual, stay tuned for more content. Nature Man appreciates all the support. Believe it or not, I really, really do. And I will get back up on my flow with constantly giving you guys content. Speaking of that, be prepared for chapter three in my book. I'm excited, but be prepared. Why would you not come off the tree like that, Mr. Cicada? <laughs> he literally flew on the tree and knocked off one of the cicadas just to try to get in that spot. Oh. Have a great day, guys, and uh, look forward to educating you guys soon.